Hello friends, this video on redox reaction part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about fractional oxidation number. We'll see some scenarios where the oxidation number comes out to be fractional. But the question that comes to our mind is why do we have fractional oxidation number when we know that the electrons are never shared or transferred in fraction. When there is a transfer of electron, it's suppose one electron, it is in it is total transfer. It is never in fraction. It never that 50% of the electron is transferred or 60% of the electron is transferred. It never happens like that. It's always the full transfer or sharing of electron, right? So why do we have fractional oxidation number? So fractional oxidation number comes when you talk about the average oxidation state. So average oxidation state sometimes gives you a fraction value. We'll take some example. For example, if you see in C3O2, if you apply and try to find the oxidation state of uh, carbon, if you see oxygen will be minus 2, we'll apply the formula, uh, the same principle, right? Uh, free image of human face, right? So this is not a free element, this is not ions, this is not oxygen, so this is oxygen here, so it will become minus 2. So this becomes Cr3O2 minus right so if you find us let this be x so this becomes 3x minus 2 into 2 is equal to 0 and you see x is nothing but 4 by 3 so you see the the oxidation number of carbon is 4 by 3 which is a fraction and why this fraction let's investigate here so if you see the structure of c3o2 it's something like this so there are three carbon atom two of them has oxidation state of 2 plus 2 while the one in the center has oxidation state of 0. So if you find the average, average becomes 2 plus 2 plus 0 divided by 3, that is 4 by 3. Correct? Because oxidation state with the method which we implied gives the average oxidation state. Sometimes the oxidation state for a particular element in a or a particular atom in a compound is not the same. If there are three or four atoms, they may have different oxidation state, and that's why we get fractional oxidation number. One more example is B3O8. If you find the oxidation number, it comes out to be 16 by 3. And the way why it comes out to be 16 by 3, if you see the structure, these two uh, bromine have oxidation state of plus 6, while the one in the center has plus 4. Similarly, Na2SO, Na2S4O6, also if you see, um, the oxidation state of sulfur comes out to be 2.5. And if you draw the structure, you'll see that uh, they are two sulfur with the oxidation state of 5 and they are two with the oxidation state of 0 so average comes out to be 2.5 and there are other examples of compounds which exhibit fractional oxidation state they are Fe3O4, Mn3O4, P3, B3O4 we'll take some examples now we'll again find the oxidation state let's try to find the oxidation state of Ki3 same formula will apply free image of human face right in this uh, ki3 can we apply free no it's not a free element we can't apply the ions oxygen there is no oxygen there is no hydrogen and there is no fluorine we will apply the next principle that is group one will have positive one it is a group one okay so it's become positive one and let the iodine be x then with the sum uh, principle that the sum of all the oxidation state for this is zero we'll get uh, one for potassium and 3 for iodine is equal to 0 x comes out to be minus 1 by 3 and you see this is fractional right and why is it fractional because uh, the state of, of this ki3 looks like this i i and i they are 3 i and it's negative so two of them will have zero oxidation state and one of them will have minus one oxidation state so the overall oxidation state will be minus 1 by 3 the average correct Similarly, S2S4O6, let's find the oxidation state, let's formula plus A formula. F, we can't apply F, I, we can't apply I because it's not iron. O, yes, we can apply O, this becomes minus 2. H, yes, we can apply. Plus 1, we have this pending, so we'll be getting X. So let's find it. 2 into plus 1 for hydrogen. Plus 4X for sulfur. 6 into minus 2 for oxygen is equal to 0. If we solve this, we get x is equal to 
into the minus 12, minus 10, 10 by 4, that is 2.5. If you see here also it's fractal, right? So if we draw the structure of H2, S4, O6. So if we draw the structure which H2, S4, there are four sulfurs, right? And you have one OH here, one OH here, and then we have oxygen molecules like this. Like this. this has plus five, it has zero, zero, and it has plus five. And that's why the average is 2.5. Similarly for Fe3O4, let's apply the formulas. Free iron oxygen if we can have, we can apply this become minus 2, this become x. So this becomes 3 into x for iron minus plus 4 into minus 2 for oxygen this is 0. We get x is equal to 8 by 3. So how to see the structure? The structure will be FeO, Fe2O3, like this. In this case, FeO it has plus 2 oxidation state. In this case, it has plus 3 oxidation state. So the average is uh, 3 into 2, 6 plus 2, 8 divided by 3 because it has 2. It has 1, 3 into 2, 6 plus 2, 8 by 3. Okay. Next, we have CS3, CS2, OH. Let's again try to find. We have the formula F, I, O, H, F. Right. Free, we can apply iron. We can't apply oxygen. Yes, we can. So let's put minus 2 here. Hydrogen, we can, right, so plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. We have carbon remaining, so let's carbon be x. So you get carbon, you get 2x, plus hydrogen, we have 3, plus 2, 5, plus 6, 6 into plus 1. Oxygen, we have 1, 1 into minus 2 is equal to 0. You solve this, you get x to be minus 2, 4, 4, minus 4 by 2, minus 2. And that is correct because it is all fractal, right? So it is pretty good. Let's do for some more examples. CS3COH. Again, the same formula. Free image of human face. Right? So this becomes 3 we can't apply. Ion we can't apply for this case because none iron. O we can apply, so let's suppose minus 2, minus 2, H we can apply, plus 1, plus 1. C we can make it X. This becomes how many C? 2C, 2X. How many H? 4H plus 4 into plus 1 plus oxygen, 2 oxygen into minus 2 is equal to 0. So all this you get minus 4 plus 4 cancel. X is equal to 0. X is equal to 0 is a not possible because when you say oxidation state of carbon is zero, it is not possible because oxidation state of only noble gas is zero. So what is the trick here? The trick is this one. You have this uh, CH3, COH if you draw the diagram of this. So this carbon will have oxidation state of minus 2 and this guy will have plus 2. Correct? Because if you see, all the hydrogen will have plus 1. So this overall becomes plus 1 and this is plus 2. OH will have a minus, right? This will have minus 2. So overall if you see, this is how it will be distributed. This is plus 2, this is minus 2. So overall it will be 0. Correct. Let's take COBr2. Let's apply the same formula. F3 we can't apply. Ion we can't apply. Oxygen there is no oxygen. Hydrogen we can't apply. Fluorine we can't apply. Right. Then we have a, a first a group element. No, we don't have second group element. In fact, group two, group th the thirteen we can't apply. Let's take bromine as one. So if we take bromine as minus one. Cobalt is x, you get x plus 2 into minus 1 is equal to 0, or you get x is equal to plus 2. That means for this guy, cobalt, the oxidation number is plus 2. Let's take ZnCO3. 
Here also let's apply uh, this uh, series. Free, no. Iron, no. Oxygen, yes. Minus 2. Hydrogen, no. Fluorine, no. Right? Then we have uh, zinc and carbon. Maybe. Now we have uh, zinc and carbon. Zinc is uh, group 12. So I can make it plus 2. Carbon is X. So let's put the formula. Plus 2 for car zinc. Plus X for carbon. Plus 3 into minus 2 for oxygen equal to 0. You solve this, you get X equal to 4. So carbon is equal to 4. So the oxidation state of zinc is plus 2, carbon is plus 4, and oxygen is minus 2 in this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.